Welcome to Repcon Headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have, within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. I can answer whatever questions you'd like, provided your query is limited to Repcon history, research and development, or Robco. Repcon's illustrious history began way back in 2054, shortly after the famous Delta XI rocket was completed and launched. Repcon's initial focus was on the development of fuel to be used in orbital propulsion in response to the energy crisis of 2052. Sad times indeed. The company really took off when Robco purchased Repcon in late 2076 to develop unmanned rockets to explore the solar system. As you may already know, Repcon is an industry leader in producing alternative fuels for military and scientific purposes. Repcon scientists were pioneers in fission-based propulsion systems, and have recently had some very exciting breakthroughs with plasma systems. The recent partnership with Robco has freed our engineers from mundane business matters, allowing them to focus solely on future projects. Robco Industries purchased Repcon in 2075, to assist with some of Robco's military projects, as well as developing unmanned space exploration. The relationship between Robco and Repcon is mutually beneficial, and we hope that both companies bolster each other well into the next century. Very well. Feel free to ask me more about Repcon at any time. Don't be shy. The tour showcases Repcon's amazing scientific contributions, and the promise of many more, coupled with its parent company, Robco. Excellent, excellent. Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. Ready for the Repcon tour, Rocketeers? Courtesy of the fine folks at Robco, I'll be your guide today on the path of scientific discovery. How may I serve you, Master? In the lead line case behind me is a spent radioactive rod from one of our old reactors. No need to stand too close. Let's move along, shall we? Look here, a row of multicolored plasma fuels. Careful, they may look safe to drink, but your stomach is the last place they should be. Why the difference in cylinder size? Refining our production methods has resulted in higher yields of fuel over time. That's why. To my right, you can see a sample of some old safety barrels Repcon once used to store radioactive waste. Perfectly safe. On my left, is an example of a mountain of Repcon safety barrels some legislators claim are poisoning our environment. Ridiculous. Behind me is our most recent rocket project, which we're keeping under our hats until launch, if you'll pardon the expression. And in front of me is a model, not actual size, of the launch dome we are using to send our rockets screaming into orbit. Now these colorful fellows behind me are Repcon's earliest experiments in flight. Feel free to read the plaques and learn, Rocketeers. from Robco, this next exhibit showcases the wondrous world of robots. Around you are the incredible iBot, the fearsome SentryBot, and the <laughs> always helpful Mr. Handy. That helpfulness runs through our whole line. This 
This is the final stop on our tour. This model of our solar system is a small example of where the partnership between Rockco and Repcon hopes to go. See those little rockets zipping about? They are manned by robots, tirelessly looking for resources to mine on planets beyond our own. And that's it for our tour today, Rocketeers. Robco and its tiny partner, Repcon, thank you. Any further questions, please feel free to ask. Yes? Did you have a question? Goodbye, Rocketeer. Be sure to visit again. Oh, and please, for your own safety, stay outside of restricted areas. How may I serve you, Master? How may I serve you, Mistress? How may I serve you, Mistress? Valid facial pattern detected. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress?